It's simple. God story. damn it. I gotta go get the keys. I guess you made your horny, and so you made it your priority. Two years running, you had me. Your ride's kind of rough, but it's not too bad. Uh, I mean, right now it's it's a really it's a really nice place. It really is. Like, there's not a lot of crime. The one and only gas station in town. There's a very good education system. Uh, this is the high school. It's not too shabby. But being uh, my age right now, uh, there's no one really my age here besides me and you know a couple other people. Hey. Ooh, 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 get it. So it's it's really not a lot of fun. There's nothing to really do besides uh, hang out. On this road we're on right now, coming around this corner, we used to pull sleds behind like cars uh, at like 30 miles an hour with people on them. It wasn't very smart, but it was a lot of fun. So it happens a lot. You get you just you have a lot of downtime. It's my uncle's house. It literally takes 25 minutes to drive up and down every single road in this town. Can cover all grounds. It's my grandma's house, the pink one. You have to find ways to entertain yourself. And it gets, I mean, it does get lonely every now and then, but it's nothing like horrible. We're over here. It's pretty. Uh, I do a lot of artwork. Yeah, I like the internet. It helps me when I'm here. Um, yeah, just live pretty much. What else you want to know? Larry? <laughs> oh, okay, so Larry is the, the head IT guy out at the plant, and um, he's a really smart guy, like super, super smart, but at the same, like, um, he's, he's a big time nerd. <laughs> I have always thought of myself as kind of a wizard, so I, I, I hope it represents me. But there's nothing wrong with that, like, that's really cool. Like, he, he really, really, really likes to play video games. And not just video games, he likes to play, like, MMORPGs, where he basically is able to immerse himself in a completely different reality. Yeah, he is dead. <laughs> and, you know, just escape for a while. Like, I don't blame him. I use the internet just like to cope with everything going on here. Jake, get out of here. He just, he does the same exact thing. He just does it in a different way. There is a, an aspect of my personality that really enjoys the fantasy and the, the medieval sort of things. And Second Life is a perfect opportunity to explore that. What do I do for fun? I play with my computers. <laughs> He's nasty to me. I'm afraid you have to hurt him. Second Life is a virtual reality um, community. And it, it's really neat because there's virtually no limits to what you can do in Second Life. Yeah, I, I get to sit here and, and uh, throw magic and, and wave swords around without hurting anybody, so. 
because they are from all over the world. Um, Avilion has a, a very strong European presence. Um, a lot of people from like Brazil. So you get kind of a feel of what their cultures are like. Uh, we get people coming in who don't speak English as their first language. And that can always be challenging. You're trying to role play something. Well, at least it's the other team dying. It's been good and bad. Um, you know, it, it's very easy now to get on the internet and go and interact with these people all over the world. The downside is that means I'm not interacting with the people here. Um, and I know Joanne finds that distressing at times. Oh man, I'm going to be dead soon. <laughs> what are you using? In any marriage, you have to find out where those boundaries are for, you know, whether it's a guy who hunts all the time or fishes all the time or whatever. I don't think it's a negative impact. You know, the rents are starting to show. <laughs> <laughs> I can see up your nose. <laughs> I hate direct sun. <laughs> yeah, he's Ooh, bad. <laughs> he doesn't like sun. I like my people real in in flesh and blood and like standing in front of me. He doesn't apparently care. So. But there's real people behind the avatar. Yeah, I know that's what you keep telling me. That's the thing that that probably bugs me the most is that I think you get to live a fake life with it. I saw you yesterday on Friendster. What I was at a conference three weeks ago or so, and one person said, well, you know, the internet isolates people from one another. And another person said, how can you say that? People communicate more than they ever did. Right? But what's communicating? And communicating on the internet is very different from people um, uh, seeing each other face to face. In the early days of Second Life, there were actually nuclear wars between oh, Sims, and they would actually <laughs> they would actually take an entire set of Sims out for a period of time. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot it has of, a certain degree of appeal, especially today. A lot today. of <laughs> cryptic. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> Besides, we don't recognize the existence of nuclear weapons in a billion. Oh. That's a little after our time. Oh. And I'm about to be dead. <laughs> and there's the angel of death telling me. Okay, so now I wait here until my uh, timer counts down. And then I get to go back into the game. I was just trying to think about that. Why would you want to crack Second Life or Avilion? Well, that's a good question. And it goes back to the whole idea of, of just being obnoxious for the sake of being obnoxious. Run away. Oh, shoot. I have the wrong uh, sound setting here. I shouldn't be screaming like a little girl. All right. Where is he now hiding out, waiting to kill me? He's going to hack on it. I'll be dying shortly now. And I'm dead again. There is some concept of death, and if you die, you basically um, transport back to your home. Uh, so it, it's kind of an escape. This is my home, the treehouse that I live in. What I do is I'll pay like on a quarterly basis. So, you know, it's like 10 or $15 a quarter that I actually pay to as my portion of the treehouse. Like I say, I share it with one other person. I think the fact it costs is, is insane. So I suppose I should um, encourage him to make money at it. <laughs> <laughs>
think I should I should make that effort. Let's see, fifty lindens is worth um, what about twenty five cents? So. <laughs> going to take a long time to get to that cruise. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we get beyond the bathtub then. Despite the fact that I'm an introvert and not very social, I do need people. And, and by golly, he gets them, so yeah. <laughs> you're forced. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is funny, coming from the older one who's really big into things like World of Warcraft, he keeps talking about how we're going to have to have intervention for Dad and, and, and break him of this addiction. He is annoying as hell. Coal Strip is a great place to raise a family. You know, it's quiet, it's safe, you know, there's things for little kids to do, but it's a horrible place to be a teenager. Dude, get it from my ear. Or just come stand up here and look down at this. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I can feel for it. My boys were the same way. You know, there's nothing to do in Coal Strip. I can't wait to get out of here. And what technology often offers us is, is, a, quick, uh, is a quick way to jump away and, and, and get instant gratification. But we also have to remember that the most rewarding things in life don't come from that instant gratification. They're things that take time to develop and, and to cultivate um, within ourselves and, and relationships um, with other people. Actually, we need some mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms is good stuff. To me, I enjoy cooking because it brings people together and it creates experiences. If it's good food that is created, then it's just a more memorable experience. Because after all, a successful life, what it comes down to, it's, it's about relationships and, and deep connections that, uh, that, that, that are what we're, what we're about. Do I want to do one rack, one pepper ribs? Thing if, or if like I want to cook something I haven't cooked, I'll just get online, go to Google and look up a recipe. And then I'll look at it and see like how long it's supposed to cook and everything. For instance, with the spray painting stuff I did, like there's no one in town that I know who does that. I couldn't just like go up to someone and be like, hey, I hear you do this. Can you show me how to do this? Instead, I can just get online, look up how-to videos. It basically brings experts in every field right to your fingertips. It's Ribavision. Uh, you can go online and find anything. Instead of driving an hour and a half to go shopping and spending, you know, like $100 in gas and food, you can just spend that money from like your living room on your laptop and it ships right to your door. We're all going to Rib Mountain. Rib Mountain! I remember Are you going to eat these or no? <laughs> Better eat them. I'm going to eat them. They're good. And like even when you're with people, it takes away from the intimate connections that you make with people. Like, yeah, we're connected more technologically, but intimately, we're 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 getting farther and farther away from one another. And uh, yeah, like I said earlier, it's a blessing and a curse. Well, that was cold strip for you. I hope you enjoyed it. It's not a lot, but it's here. You know. Um, it could be worse. Even though this town is small and, you know, uh, people gossip and there's not a lot to do here, I'm definitely grateful that I came from a place that um, allows me to stay true to who I am. Come on, buddy.